So something I've been tinkering with over the past couple of months has been my travel boom mic setup. See, I really don't like wireless lab mics. I don't like messing with frequencies and hiding them and rustling and all this kind of stuff. When I'm shooting one person sit down interviews or even standing interviews on the road, I just want a really nice consistent solution. And for me, that is a boom mic. And so I wanted to talk today real quick about the pieces of my setup that I finally settled on. I think you're really gonna like it. So everything fits in this zipper case here. First, got the boom pole of choice, which is from Film Devices. So when it comes to boom poles, you have lots of options. I decided to not pay up for one that has an internal cable or pay up for carbon fiber or something like that, just for how often I use this in my use case. Aluminum was fine. This comes in under two pounds. It extends out over five feet. I haven't had an issue with it being too short or anything like that, and it collapses way down. So this has been a great solution for me in terms of a travel boom pole. And before we move to the next thing, I do wanna mention the best travel boom setup is always gonna be like hiring a location sound professional in whatever area you're filming. But of course we all know budget, time, all these constraints don't always allow that to happen. So this is the next best thing for me. And then of course we got to talk about the base of the operation, which is the Matthews reverse stand. So there are a bunch of reverse collapsible portable light stands out there. I've tried a whole bunch of different ones and this Matthews reverse stand is the first one. I can really say that I trust to hold the mic over the head of an interview subject and I'm really not super worried that it's gonna fall over on top of them. And that's the most important thing. So this is a little bit heavier. I think it's still under four pounds and I'm willing to add a little bit of weight to the kit for the confidence knowing that my boom mic is going to stay where I put it. And then the last piece piece here. This came with the film devices kit. I like this better than the regular boom pole holder just because it's a little bit more compact. You will see that the foam is kind of coming away a little bit, which isn't amazing. I'm going to have to fix that up, but this is a nice little solution. And again, came with the boom mic that made it super easy. And then in here, of course, we got our XLR cable and I've got a little Pelican case with a hypercardioid mic in it. And there you have it. So I'll put links to all these things down in the description below. I'm excited to finally have rounded out this kit, which is gonna be super helpful for when I'm shooting all of these interviews on the road, knowing that I can have consistent, clean, clear audio captured the way that I want it is a really big help to my workflow. All right, Drew, do your magic.